we need to prove that if A and B are n by n diag diagonal matrices, then AB equals BA. Uh, given that A and B are n by n diagonal matrices, we can suppose that A equals A110, la 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 la, 0, so here it's 0, then A22, two, two, zero, 0, 0, then here it's 0, zeros. A's, zeros, zeros, A, N, N. Actually, here it also exists. Okay, and then B is the same one. I'll actually just duplicate this one, but we need to change it. Revive A, 1, 1, A, 2, 2, A, N, N by B. So here we'll have b11 b22 bnn well so um now let's look at ab ab equals matrix a times matrix b so it equals again we remember that multiplication is about finding dot products of the corresponding rows and columns so here we will get a11 b times b11 then zero la, 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 zeros then zero a22 two, two, times b22 two, two. then again we will have zeros then here the rest are zeros, here the rest are zeros, here the rest are the product of A corresponding A and B entries. So here we have A and N, B and N. Zeros, zeros. Well, so this is the product of A, B. Now let's look at B, A. B, A equals matrix B. times matrix A oh times matrix A so here again we will get B11 one one times A11 one one, then all of the rest are zeros in the next row we have zero then we have B 2 2 times a 2 2 and then the rest is zeros then the rest in the first column are zeros the rest in the second column are zeros here the rest are the products of a and b so here we have b and n times a and n and here the rest are zeros so now if you look at what we got uh uh, if you look at the entries of AB and the entries of BA, you will see that they are the same. So AB equals BA.